Hi, it's May 14th and we are sitting in the historic uh, state capitol at California, this beautiful building that was built during the Civil War. Um, and I'm proud to represent the 7th Senate District. So just to bring you up to date, right now uh, we're in the middle of the legislative session. Uh, all of the Senate bills have gone over to the Assembly and we're starting to see Assembly bills as is our process here. Uh, we have 29 active bills right now, which is quite a few for a member, maybe the most. Um, and yesterday, the governor came out with his May revision. It's part of the budget process. So now we're very deep into uh, dealing with the governor's proposal around our budget. It's amazing to me to have been here when we had a $45 billion deficit to see the recovery that California has been able to um, do. We were told by economists that fixing our budget was probably the best thing we could do for the state economy, and we largely have. Uh, it's not to say we don't have huge challenges and unmet uh, needs, but to think that we now have a reserve and we'll have reserves for years to come if we are prudent. So I support the governor's proposal. I support leadership's proposal with the governor for a appropriate rainy day fund and paying down our debt. Those are important things. But in the meantime, we have those unmet needs. I've talked to you about the $300 billion we need just to maintain our existing transportation system in California for the next decade. We have huge needs on affordable housing, uh, just when the housing market is very impacted for working Californians. And then lastly, uh, we have an issue around poverty in California and poverty and the recovery. So most of the recovery has benefited all of those of us that have some investment, but it hasn't gone to wage earners and it's gone mostly to the very wealthiest amongst us. So this past year I was able to start EPIC, the Ending Poverty and Inequality Caucus in California. It's resulted in uh, a lot of interest nationally. And this is a really important issue for our time, I believe. We went from 13% of Californians being in poverty to almost 25%. And a third of those in poverty are children. And we know that children, when they uh, start their lives in poverty, they're much more likely to end up staying in poverty and not being able to rise up, which is the American dream that we all aspire to. So in that regard, one bill that I've been able to do um, that so far is going very well and has started a national conversation is the disparity of wealth, particularly for CEOs, chief executive officers of publicly traded corporations. For the last 50 years since World War II, um, CEO compensation was about 30 times above the median worker of that corporation. It's now almost 300 percent, or 300 times, I should say. So what this bill would do is just have a sliding scale where corporations that do business in California, you don't have to be located here, it's on net profits of a corporation, publicly traded corporation, that does business in California, which they all do because of our wealth. If your CEO is paid 100 times or less than the median worker, you'll actually get a tax cut. So most corporations will get a tax cut. On the other part of the sliding scale, your ta corporate tax rate for California will go up if you're 100 times or more above your median worker. And this is important because we know from history and from what economists have told us that it's the middle class and it's people in poverty rising up to the middle class who drive the economy. They're the ones who buy things, they're the ones who build things. They consume and this is a consumer economy. So all of this has led to a really wonderful conversation. Um, and it's one that has to be, I think, really thoughtfully done in California and the United States. So I realize this is a little longer than most of our blogs, but these are important issues. As always, feel free to contact us either here in our Sacramento office or in our Walnut Creek office, and uh, look forward to having your input, whether you agree or disagree. This is an important discussion for California. Thank you.